Welcome back, my adventure boys and girls. This is Steve with 31480B, and today we're going to learn about my nickname, Two Chains, given to me by the original Gravel Grinders and why. So we headed out at St. Joe. Uh, we had five of us, three two strokes, two four strokes. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like that almost the whole time. And uh, we decided to head around and get a warm up on the uh, 100 route there at St. Joe uh, ATV and Motorcycle Park. And we really did have some good trail conditions today. We had uh, quite a bit of rain last night, which kept the uh, dust down. Still has some good grip, some good traction you can see here. A couple wet spots overall, but mostly it was just a really good uh, two track that we were dealing with right in through this area. Did stop for a little bit to let down some air in my tires here which you know i mean <laughs> i'm still trying to figure that stuff out so the reason why i ended up getting the nickname two chains is because i have an absolute amazing ability to break perfectly good bikes and have to repair parts before i even hit 5,000 miles on these things and you'll see i do it again today The first time this really came to light was after my first um, group dual sport adventure ride. Um, not only did I break a couple of my brake sensors, um, I actually warped two sets of handlebars. But on my very next ride with the OGG group, um, I ended up having to get a chain replaced halfway through the ride because I, I broke the chain. So I just, I'm just good at breaking stuff, stalling stuff, you know, all the good things in life. So right about now, everybody's really starting to get in a nice groove. We're starting to ride smoothly. Pace is picking up a little bit, and uh, we have about uh, seven or eight minutes of some dirt road, and we come up along this wonderful group of four-wheelers. And, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> and we're now into breaking parts again. <laughs> we're good. We're all good. I'm okay. Nothing got hurt uh, on me. Just a little boo-boo on the bike. Yep, there's half my brake lever, and I get on, not having realized this quite yet, I get on there, go to put my foot down, there's nothing there, I see a sparkly piece on the ground, yeah, that, that's my brake, but that, that's only half of it, where's the other half? And I go looking, and, well, back here, on this rock, yep, there it is, <laughs> there's the other half of it, so let me literally snap right off at the frame, uh, when I tried to put it back together, it was sticking out at a 90 degree angle. That's how badly it got bent before it actually snapped off. Called and ordered one up, 127 bucks. Not too bad. Those loops or yeah. whoops? That was uh, 100. Okay. So anyway, the easiest thing is go back across the park and then get back on 200, hang a left on 100, and we'll get there. <laughs> I'm not a directions guy. <laughs> I'm terrible with directions. I figured I'd just keep going until I kind of got somewhere near where we were. <laughs> well, I just, I'm, too I'm wondering what's going on with these guys now. Go back up there. Because they were yeah. supposed to. Are you cool with waiting? Yeah. Okay. I, All right. I'll be right back. I'm not okay. hurry, man. I'm... So, got back out of the woods, figured That's time to head home. I've got no real, real break. And uh, the rest of the crew continued on the rest of the day and had a, a fantastic time. So, thanks to the group for letting me come out. Last time I tore a couple ligaments. This time I tear apart part of bike. I'd always rather tear a bike than body. Guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If not, see you on the other side.